Yep. Hi, my name is Mickey, and I'm 17 years old. 17 years old, and I go here to inspire School of Arts and Sciences. And right now, we're doing a donation drive for the campfire. Basically, what I've been doing was helping sort through all the goods and put them into boxes that are going to storage unit or to Goodwill and other places that are taking the donations. And my personal connection to the fire was I have my grandmother that lives in Megalia and my mom's best friend that lives up in Paradise. And right now we're being the host for both of them, so. All right, so you, they're living with you here in Chico? Um, in Orville. Orville, okay. So you went from how many people in the house to? We went from three in the house to eight and a half. <laughs> wow. And how many rooms do you have? We have two bedrooms and a guest room. Wow. So yeah, you're you're maxed out, huh? How many bed? How many bathrooms? We have one bathroom, and we also had all of Brittany's pets and my grandma's pets in our house. So we also have twelve cats at our house and two turtles and my dog. Wow. So you guys are yeah, packed it's, full. Right? <laughs> it's a little hectic. Yeah. Can you, can you repeat maybe some of the stories of um, the folks that are now living in your house and how they got out? And um, So Brittany works here in Chico and she went to work about six o'clock. And so by the time she heard about the fire, she couldn't get back up the hill. And a fun story about my grandma was she lives up in Megalia at the very top of it. And she was home by herself and doesn't have a car. So we had to go the long way around through Durham, all the way on the backside of Chico, up into the hills to try and get in through the bottom of, or the top of Megalia. And by the time we got there, she was already gone and we didn't really know where she went. And she got taken to one of the evacuation centers by our house, luckily, and she ended up walking to our house. But since we were able to get up there, we grabbed pictures off the walls, we grabbed all of her cats and her bird. And so we're just kind of happy that she's actually home. <laughs> yeah, I guess through, you know, all the commotion and the chaos and uh, the communication breakdowns, it's, it was kind of hard to figure out where yeah. people were, huh? Yeah, and she also doesn't have a cell phone, so that was helpful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, would have been nice. Uh, um, yeah. <clears throat> all right, and so um, how about, you know, some of the people here at Inspire, your friends? Um... Most of the people in my advisory were actually lived up in paradise, so Thursday was a really hard day in advisory, and we all just kind of had a cry fest. Yeah, and uh, what, what was that day like here at Inspire, that Thursday? Um, um, it was odd because when we were driving from Orville to Chico to come to school, it was just like a strip of smoke going across the sky and we didn't really know where it was and then we got to school and classes were mostly normal until they called all the paradise kids into IC22 and that's when we knew that it was probably not going to be a good day and then lunch was chaotic the sky was completely dark it looked like it was probably six at night <laughs> when it was really 12 in the afternoon right um, and so, you know, what were some of the conversations going on? Um, we didn't really know for sure what was going on because there was a lot of mixed news coming in and out, but we were all just knowing that the houses were all probably gone, and we thought in the morning that Feather River Hospital was gone, but that turned out to not be true, so it was just chaotic. Yeah, there was a lot of miscommunication and yeah. misinformation <laughs> about what was there what was not right yeah um yeah. most people said that the middle part of paradise was mostly still standing but that's also not true at this point yeah um what do you think about um the community reaction and how I, your peers and um, the youth have reacted to the situation in general um so this is one of the reactions that I'm very thankful for because it just shows that everyone can come together in a time of need to make sure everyone has what they need. 
and so for that reason because a lot of people don't have the storage space because of that um, we're putting stuff away so that way when people need it it can come back out and they can pick and pull from that too but mostly it's been very much everyone trying to just come together and be a community again and we're actually having firefighters from Texas and all over the state come up to help fight the fire. Yeah, so it's a, it's a nation yeah. uh, team um, and community together, huh? Yep. All right, is there anything else that you know you want to talk about? Nope, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> all right, thank you very much, Mickey. Yep.